Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at Batman Adventures Annual 1. And this is so cool because it features a story by John Byrne, and of course I'm all about John Byrne, so I can't wait to show it to you guys. I'm going to cue the intro while you guys hit subscribe and like, and I'll be right back. It's Troy TV. All right, so this is the Batman Adventures. Um, the Batman Adventures is uh, obviously one of the greatest cartoons ever created. Uh, Bruce, Tim. So they did a comic book series spinoff, which was actually really good. And this is the annual. And the reason I'm excited about this is because it has a story by John Byrne in it. We're going to look at the whole thing, but um, I'm here for the burn. But... This cover is by Bruce Tim, I think. And I have to say, like, uh, you know, they did such a great job on this cartoon and just revitalizing interest and making it one of the best Batman things in Bat history. Art by Bruce Tim. I love Bruce Tim's style. Um, so much fun. I mean, obviously, he's, you know, super animated looking. But he just brought such a great aesthetic to the show. I recently came across uh, some designs that Kevin Nolan did for um, Batman animated series. Because Bruce Tim was looking for sort of that um, minimal look. You know, I think because you can only do, or at the time, the constraints of animation. You can only do so much detail. So he wanted to sort of, you know, get that silhouette at those great looks. Paul Dini, writer, Rick Taylor, colorist, uh, comic craft, lettering, Darren Vincenzo, assistant editor, Scott Peterson, edit editor, Batman created by Bob Kane. I think they now have to say Batman created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger, just because uh, Bill Finger brought so much to the mythos. But here we go. Now we're Mike Parabek, um, he was such a great artist. He had the animated style and did like a ton of the Batman Adventures stuff. Um, he's no longer with us, so, but he was a great artist in his day and he definitely contributed so much to the Batman Adventures canon for sure. The ventriloquist dummy, I love it. Where's my burn? This is fun. Art by Dan DiCarlo and Bruce Tim. Oh, how cool is that? Dan DiCarlo doing all the, you know, newspaper strips and stuff. So obviously he's gonna, I mean, what is he like the Archie artist, I guess, among many other things. Art by Klaus Janssen. So I guess this is Klaus Janssen trying to do a Batman animated style. Well, that's very interesting. I mean, as we all know, Klaus Janssen famously uh, inked, and I'd like to say probably finished. And by finishing, uh, it just means that you're adding a lot more to the art than just uh, tracing it over Frank Miller on The Dark Knight. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I guess it's not super animated looking, but, and it doesn't look much like The Dark Knight either, but it's still an interesting, fun take. Klaus Janssen is, you know, an industry legend, and um, I think he's so strong and so overpowering with his stuff that you either love him or, or don't. <laughs> um, I think he definitely works better with some artists. Like, I love a John Romita Jr. Klaus Janssen combination. I really like Klaus Janssen on Frank Miller. I mean, the stuff they did on Daredevil alone was just, you know, freaking amazing. So he definitely deserves a lot of credit. He's done a ton of Batman stuff over the years, though. I seem to recall a let he did like the first series of 
Legends of the Dark Knight, which was pretty freaking amazing. And he's just a great artist and an all around artist too. He pencils, he inks, he colors. He might even letter, but I know he definitely pencils, inks, and colors for sure. Here we go, getting back more into the animated style. Catwoman. I love the Batman animated version of the Catwoman. I love pretty much any version of Catwoman, but you know. We're still not to the John Byrne story yet. Here we are, finally. Paul Dini, writer, John Byrne, penciler, Rick Burchett, anchor, Bruce Tim, colorist. How cool is that? I'm sure that... Uh, I think Bruce Tim is a big comic fan, so he must have been totally geeked to be able to color uh, John Byrne. I kind of would have liked to see him ink it as well, but it looks pretty amazing, so I'll take it. It's funny because John Byrne definitely has a slightly animated aesthetic to his art, and I think he always has. I think um, sometimes that was a turnoff to certain people. It's always been a draw for me. But um, he's leaning into the animated style a lot more here. He's definitely using an animated style as opposed to his traditional superhero style. But he's done it, you know, before on books like What The, the Marvel uh, comedy book. And he actually um, uh, did, like, guest artist on the Funky Winker Bean comic strips, so... That's cool. So we've got a lot of jokers so far. We haven't really seen, aside from his uh, fists and boots, we haven't seen much of the Batman. It's funny because uh, traditionally when uh, John Byrne draws Joker, like when he appeared in uh, Superman during John Byrne's run, I did not like the way he draw Joker at all. But I'm loving his animated version. I think it's really on point and looks really good. So that is super cool. This is also reminding me a little bit of the uh, the John Cleese Superman book that had more of a little bit of a cartoony aspect to it, in my opinion. So we never do get a full-on Batman. I guess it's just a Joker story, which is kind of... Unfortunate, I kind of wanted, I like when John Byrne draws Batman, so I kind of wanted to see that. But hey, it's John Byrne, I'll take it. So that is, oh, do we have more? I guess we do have more. Hmm, what did I think that was the end? And we never do get Batman, oh well. That's cool anyway, John Byrne drawing Batman Adventures, Joker. I mean, give me a break. I'll take it. How cool is that? That looks like Mike Waren Ghost Flash. I think it is. I love Mike Waren Ghost Flash. Ah, dead again. <laughs> Poor Superman. He hasn't died lately, has he? Not since uh, Zack Snyder killed him. That was so, like, why bother? Anyway, so that is John Byrne drawing Batman Adventures, but also... Paul Dini, Bruce Tim, Mike Parabek, Mike DiCarlo, or I'm sorry, it was Dan DiCarlo. Klaus Janssen, great book, so much fun. If you're a burn collector or just like the Batman Adventures, you definitely need this for your collection. Go seek it out, totally fun. Love Batman the Adventures. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more. All right, thanks guys.